Good bless this Saturday uh, evening, November the 25th, 2023, the time being 3.33 uh, p.m. I greet all human beings all around the world with a universal greetings of peace and the blessing of God be with you. Doesn't matter what your political, philosophical, personal, nor your religious beliefs may be. Doesn't matter whether you're the richest or the poorest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't even matter whether you're the proclaimed toughest or the proclaimed weakest person on the face of this earth. Doesn't matter if you're my family, friends, nor my proclaimed enemies. Doesn't matter whether you like me or anything that I say, produce. That's your prerogative. You have a First and a Fourteenth Amendment right to the United States Constitution and many more. But your First and Fourteenth Amendment rights to the United States Constitution give you freedom of speech, freedom to gather uh, peacefully, uh, freedom to associate peacefully. Uh, what I want to talk about this evening is uh, I, I told uh, my family and friends, even my enemies, that the that the uh, enemies has been attacking me and my family, but it's a spiritual warfare. And the reason why I'm showing this thing here right now with uh, Bridget Williams, this is something that came to my Facebook page uh, last night about 940 something. We're going to get the exact time uh, when it came. But I want to read what was said on here. Me and Bridget Williams is not Facebook friends. I know who she is. She's the sister-in-law of one of my arch uh, attackers, Lester Gillespie. Uh, Y'all know who he is. He's the man that said I'm a, I am rape children. Uh, he's the man that told the judges, him and his daughter, Deja, or Daisy, whatever they call her, they said that they terrified of me. But let me show you what his sister-in-law just put on uh, a message to me. We're not friends. I didn't respond, but let's go take a look at it right now. Now, take a very good look at this here. If you see up at the top, okay, uh, I believe where it got 12.57 p.m., but uh, you see where uh, Bridget was active 15 hours ago. And this is what it said. I'm going I'm to read the way it has it on there, and then I'm going to read what I'm assuming it's supposed to be saying. Now, it says, I was asked to contact you because Duncan County Jail, I... Uh, Kenneth, uh, Missouri caught on fire the inmates or, or made to stay in cell full of smoke. I was told they half. Now that particular word you see is not half, but, but that particular word, the a way it's spelled, it's a handle of a knife or a weapon. But, uh, the inmates, I was told they have to cover their faces with T-shirts to breathe, was asked to get in touch with RR Recovery. I don't have Facebook or a phone, so this lady is letting me use her phone. Thanks. Now, this I'm going to show you how this is a lie, but let me show you what I'm assuming that this thing was saying. We said we know whoever printed this up, they wasn't, they didn't pass English grammar in no school. Uh, it, it would, it would normally probably read, I was asked to contact you, but we see the way the sentence structure, we see that, that like I said, but we ain't going to go because Duncan County jail in Kenneth, Missouri caught on fire. Uh, the inmates or uh, are made to stay in, in the cells full of smoke. I was told they have to cover their faces uh, with T-shirts to breathe. I was asked to get in, in touch with RR Recovery. I don't have Facebook or a phone, so this lady is letting me use her, uh, use her phone. Thanks. Now, number one. Anybody with common sense, even you don't even have to have a common sense to know if somebody let this person use their phone and they use their phone and they and the person that said that, that, that uh, they don't have a phone or Facebook. Once you use somebody else's phone and send it to somebody messenger, it's not going to pop up where you see Bridget Williams, because Bridget Williams said, according to this, 
She don't have a phone or a Facebook page, but we see uh, you must have a phone or you must have a Facebook page because that lady phone miraculously brought your name up. And then where it said it, they, they was told to contact RR, let me show you what RR is. This is R R. That's that's a a a a a rich wine or a rich uh rot gut uh whiskey from Canada. You see what I'm saying? Uh, you see what it says, rich and rare. So that they she contact the wrong one. I'm triple R. That's three R's, not R N R, not rich and rare. You see what I'm saying? I'm not rich, but I am rare because I stand up against people like this and her brother-in-law. But let me go back just to show you that this person do have a Facebook page because you see it right here. You see what it says? The same thing it says on the one that sent it to my message. You see what I'm saying? But this particular person, the sister-in-law of Lester Gillespie, why would you send this to me Telling me that somebody told you to get in contact with me uh, because the jail was on fire, got caught on fire. I had some of triple R, not R and R. Maybe the person that sent this here, maybe they was drunk off of R and R, rich and rare Canada whiskey. Because triple R, we don't get high. You see what I'm saying? We don't die, we multiply. You see what I'm saying? And we do research before we do anything. This person assumed that I was going to put on my YouTube video that the uh, Duncan County Jail in uh, Kenneth, Missouri is, uh, the, is on fire and they not allowing the inmates to come out. The inmates have to put the, their T-shirts over their over their face or their mouth and their nose to be able to breathe. But let me tell you something. I was in the medical field, the emergency medical field. Matter of fact, I was an EMT and CPR instructor in the state of Missouri. Well, nationally instructed in the in the uh, on the national side for the EMT, but uh, registered in Missouri and in the state of Illinois. Now, if somebody forcing inmates to stay in their cells and they have to hold their T-shirts over their face, the persons that hold forcing them to stay in their cells, which I'm assuming would be the guards or the sheriff deputies, then how is they breathing? Is they holding their shirts or they have gas masks on? I called the jail myself and I had other people to do research, Google it up, and there's nowhere in, uh, in sight where a fire was in the Duncan County Jail. It's possible it is, but who is the mystery person that told Bridget Williams to contact me? And then, like I said, look at the logic. You see what I'm saying? You know, one thing about Satan, one thing about evil, God make my enemies drunk to say a statement like that. I don't have a phone or Facebook, and this lady let me use her phone, but yet my name miraculously, oh, that's right, I'm a preacher. I forgot to tell you, her inner husband is a preacher. So maybe they put holy oil on this lady phone and miraculously Bridget Williams name came up. Now, if some of y'all call me and attack me, don't attack me. T attack who sent this thing to my uh, Facebook page where I messaged her and I didn't respond to it. Satan, I rebuke you in the name of the highest power ever was, in the name of the highest power that ever would be, in the name of the highest power it is, in the name of Jesus. You keep on trying to attack me, what God going to do? You see what I'm saying? You ain't going to be able to use your fingers in a little bit. Have you seen what happened to the prosecuting attorney? He's in that cemetery. Have you seen what happened to two judges that misused me? One of them had a massive heart attack, and the other one, had been removed off the bench. Have you seen these attackers that attack me that's connected with your uh, brother-in-law, Bridget Williams, Lester Gillespie, Nigel Easton, and Barry Boyce? Nigel Easton is on the run because he was an informant. He said he was a gangster on Vine Street when he was younger, but yet we see he wasn't no gangster. He was an informant, and he informed on his buddy, Barry Boyce. Feds got one in jail and got the other one in hiding. 
And I can go on and on. All of my enemies is either in the cemetery on the run or they family members have studied going to the cemetery. Y'all just keep on sending me these messages. Peace be still. Next time when you're going to lie, get the truth now. You know, they called you because of the fire because they know my experience. There it is right there. They called you also. See, see the triple R, Raymond Research and Recovery, not rich and rare. But you see what it says? Not just a name, but a reputation. Raymond L. Ivey, founder. Auto repos, legal research, interstate recovery of lost persons, items, etc. So next time, get your, get your things right. And then, why wouldn't the person tell you to get in contact with your brother-in-law? Or even yourself. Your brother-in-law and you, y'all monopolize everything in the in the town. Uh, so you're in the news. Well, your brother-in-law is always in the newspaper. They say he's the man of the year. Uh, he make everything happen in the boot hill. So go get him. And then, you know, when y'all come to me, don't come with R&R. Because &R, R&R is that rock gut that gets you drunk. When you come with triple R, it'll wake you up from the dead. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> peace, peace, deal.